just before OpenAI's developer conference, Elon Musk has announced Grok. So what is Grok? Grok is an AI assistant. This is from XAI Labs or formerly Twitter, their AI division, right? Um, so they have released Grok AI, which is a general assistant. It is like ChatGPT. It is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit and has a rebellious streak. So what they claim is that it can uh, answer a lot of things which other models don't answer to. Okay. So it can also answer spicy questions that are rejected by other AI systems. It has access to real time knowledge of the world via the X platform, via the X or Twitter platform. So it has real time knowledge access of the world. So this model, as Elon Musk says, it will be part of the X premium plus for which you need, um, you know, it's a subscription service with $16 per month. Uh, and if you go to their announcement page over here, so they say that Grok is an AI modeled after Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy. It is intended to answer anything far harder and even suggest what questions to ask. Right? This is the same thing. It is a beta product, very early beta product. Uh, it was trained, uh, say, it is just with two months of training. And there are some details over here, uh, you know, uh, after announcing XAI, they trained a prototype LLM Grok zero with 33 billion parameters. And then they improved it. We, and uh, currently it has uh, this uh, sort of, it is a sort of language model, achieving 63.2% on human eval coding task and 73% on MMLU. So if you look at the various benchmarks, Grok one is actually better than GPT 3.5 over here across these benchmarks. Uh, it's not close to GPT 4. GPT 4 is still much better, but Grok 1 is a little bit better than GPT 3.5 or Pi from inflection or Llama 2, 70 billion parameter models, right? If, when compared to that for its size and compute class, Grok 1 is displaying strong results. That is what they claim over here. And what else is present over here? If you look at it, uh, they talk about, uh, you know, on the 2023 Hungarian National uh, High School Finals in Mathematics, which was published at the end of May after the collection of the data set, Glock passed with say 59% while Claude 2 achieved the same grade and GPT-4 got a B with 68%. So this is the grading on, you know, this particular exam. So this shows about uh, its performance on say mathematical or reasoning tasks, right? Uh, so Grok has been built on a custom training stack, uh, training and inference stack based on Kubernetes, Rust and Jax. That is what they are saying over here. Some more details are present over here. I will not go into it. And uh, what they are saying is that, uh, you know, early access, you can join a waitlist and then you might get access to it. Probably they will go for a wider release at a later point of time. They want to bring in multi-model capabilities in the future. Uh, they want to build in adversarial robustness, long understanding, context understanding and retrieval is something they want to do along with safety and other things. Okay. So the question is why Grok, right? So they are saying that they don't want to restrict AI to, uh, you know, select set of people or this thing they want to uh, release AI to, uh, to be useful to people of all backgrounds and political views. Okay, they want to empower research and innovations. There are some examples of, uh, you know, the real time information over here, Elon Musk has tweeted it out. Uh, so here it says, uh, you know, when was Elon's last interview with Joe Rogan, it gives from based on Twitter or X platform, it pulls the details and shows over here. Like last was October 31, 2023. And what was Rogan wearing in the interview? So there is Rogan donned a blonde wig and a Puerto Rico baseball jersey and so on. But if you go to other models, it's not able to really cover that particular information. Okay. That's what they're saying. The advantage of this model is it has access to real time data from Twitter. Okay. Now regarding the term Grok. Okay, Grok is a uh, word coined by American writer Robert A. Heinlein. 
in the science fiction novel in 1961 stranger in a strange land so what it means is that to understand intuitively or by empathy or to establish rapport or to empathize or communicate sympathetically also to experience enjoyment that is what is the meaning of the word from oxford english dictionary so the origins of you know this croc ai is from this term right and some more details are uh, you know it could be 25000 characters context window uh, its uh, screen refresh response speed is much faster than say chat gpt it has a live search engine which focuses on x for content all the other things are planned in the future like api image recognition audio recognition right and they also have a plan of running grok in tesla using local compute power a native basically it will run native in a uh, tesla so this is a uh, crazy development and uh, you know the timing is such that openai wants to um, you know openai has their uh, develop first developer conference today and uh, you know elon musk wants to steal the limelight from them by announcing it there are some concerns over here in terms of there is a lot of misinformation present on x right so how is this llm going to take care of it and uh, you know how uncensored it is right censored or uncensored it is in terms of uh, responses we have to wait and see how uh, you know this grok ai performs a, um, you know against its rivals so we have to wait for access and then check it out but it's an exciting development another competitor entering the llm space among the giants like um, you know anthropic you have uh, open ai you have google you have microsoft right so it's quite interesting development uh, i'll be putting the links to the announcement and the other tweets which are present over here you can check it out i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video